hands. So that's just a little, a little preface. So now as we get to this, leave this here in case we need it. Okay, so here we go. All right, so here's the combination. This is the right tackle and the right tight end. And you say, well, coach, he looks like a lineman. He is. We play a lot of the, of the game. We play 35 to 40% of the game with six offensive linemen on the field. It's a personnel group, actually two personnel groups. It could be big 11, where the only tight end on the field is a lineman. There's three wide receivers. Or it could be big 12, where you have the lineman as the Y, and then the traditional tight end is the H, the move guy. So we do a lot of this. So this is not just, hey, I'm using two linemen. Okay, so in the combination, we've got a lifter and we've got a driver. Right, that's how, that, those, that's how I differentiate the two guys. The covered guy is the lifter, the uncovered guy is the driver. So I want this right tackle here to settle step and then lift. You see how he's turning his shoulders? I don't like that. I want him to be square because square is strong in football. Right, so I would like him to be square. But it's a pretty good shoulder lift. It could be a little lower. You can see the tight end with the near foot lead of the gallop into the block, just like the Crowther sled. And if you can hit a guy like that, you're going to move him, as long as you're hitting him low to high. I think the right tackle's a little high here. I think the tight end's pretty good. And then as we get the linebacker to run through, get your hat in front. Trap the linebacker run through. Trap the linebacker run through. And when I say trap it, I mean trap it with your far shoulder. That'll get your head in front. That'll stop penetration. Because the only thing that stops penetration in football, I don't care if you're a linebacker tackling a defender, uh, tackling a ball carrier, or you're a blocker trying to stop a run through, the only thing in football that stops penetration is hat placement. You gotta get your hat in front of this guy. Your hands and arms will never be enough. So I wanna trap the run through player. Pretty good. Okay, here's another one. Same two guys. Lift. So I want, I want him to be lower. I want the top of the shoulder on the bottom of the number. That's what we're aiming for. Are we ever going to get that? Probably not. But it's, an, it's a point of emphasis for them. Top of the shoulder, bottom of the number. Bottom of the number. Pretty good. Okay, here's the left tackle now. Okay, now, freshman tackle. All right, so Kelvin's a true freshman. Was not with us in the spring. Got there in the summer. So this is training camp now. This guy's on his shoulder. He's in the gap. He should be thinking shoulder lift. He's guessing, so he ends up using his hands, and you can see how soft it makes him. You don't want to use hands unless that guy two gaps you. Okay, now, here's the defender. And we set this up in the draw. I'm not trying to trick him. I tell him, hey, this guy's going to two gap you. Get ready to transition to hands. When we watch film, we got a pretty good idea going into the game of which teams are trying to two-gap the double teams. We got a pretty good idea. We're going to play Alabama. They're going to two-gap the double teams. I know Freddie. I worked there. I coached against him. The D-line coach. I know what he's going to do. So you got to get ready. Pretty good job at pad level. Really good job with his hands. And then for the, for the driver, he's trying to get to that near number. When color disappears, snap the hip. When color disappears, snap the hip. Take your left hand, you can see him trying to do it, snap that hip. Now the hard part about simulating 